Bye, everybody. Hey, Abby Drive me to the Gulf of Mexico. This is my special place, and I want it to be in my special place because I have something special to tell you. But it's too windy, so we're going to stop this and go over there. <laughs> Okay, so the question is, is what we're doing here each day even going to make a difference? Does it matter what we're doing for this 40 Days We Can Do Hard Things campaign? I wanna tell you a quick story to answer that question for you. Last week I came on here and I told you that the most effective way we can use our time over the next three weeks is to make direct calls to voters, okay? That study after study proves that that's what makes the difference in the last three weeks and I asked you, to commit hours out of your very busy lives through um, the lastweekends.org, which is run by Swing Left, to sign up to phone bank, to sign up to text bank, to write letters. I didn't know how many people would do that. The next day, Swing Left called me and said that in within one day, over 4,500 hours were committed. That's 212,000 phone calls made directly to voters in um, the tightest races. Swing Left couldn't believe it. They have been in operation for four years and it was their single biggest day ever. And that is so big, but I'm thinking small. I'm thinking of every single one of you who are first time phone bankers like me, who stress out calling anyone, who are gonna be sweating our way through those phone calls, but we're gonna do it because our love and our hope and our determination is bigger than our fear. I am just so incredibly grateful for this community that shows up for the world and for each other every single time. Thank you. Um, three quick things. Um, I, For those of you who are still on the fence about volunteering because it seems confusing, I've got you. Um, I got on the phone with Nisha Blandin, who is the political strategist for Swing Left. And if you keep watching this, you will see Nisha answer all of our confusing questions about volunteering. She makes it so simple, so keep watching. And then do it, show up with us, volunteer. And then also, um, this is fun. Okay, you know that I don't do parties. <laughs> but there is a party this evening that even I I'm going to attend because it's the kind of party that we can attend while in our pajamas on the couch. Um, and also Stacey Abrams will be at this party and I actually will go to any party that Stacey Abrams is going to make an appearance at. <laughs> Swing left and the last weekend is holding a rally tonight. Just something to like get us all connected and informed and refueled as we move into this last three weeks, which are the most critical three weeks maybe of our nation's history. Um, so show up. RSVP, the, the directions are in the comments. Um, I'm gonna be there. I just want to be all together in this. Because it doesn't say I can do hard things, it's we can do hard things. Okay, that's it. Um, I love us. We are gonna keep showing up. We're gonna make a difference and we're gonna stay together and we're gonna stay human. We can do hard things, I love you. And thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me, I'm very excited. Yeah, so to my whole community, this is Nisha Blandin. She's the head of political strategy at Swing Left. And Nisha has been um, the head of political strategy at Swing Left. And before that, she served as the vice president for opportunity and engagement for the Democratic National Convention in Milwaukee. And she has over 10 years of experience working for major democratic organizations, including the Democratic National Committee. And last but certainly not least, she has an adorable puppy named Monty. Yes, and he is scampering around right now, trying to get with his frame. <laughs> this action we're, we're this community we're leading them towards is that you all put together is called the last weekends, right? Yes. Can you tell us why these last weeks are so important and why we should commit to talking to voters directly during this time? Um so lots of folks have probably heard folks encouraging people to commit to vote. So making sure that folks have a plan and they make a commitment to vote, whether it be early or on election day. So the last weekend is basically like a commit to volunteer. You've already committed to vote, but that's not enough. We want you to do more. So we want you to go to thelastweekends.org and sign up and commit to volunteer. 
choose a shift, whether it be two or three hours, to phone bank, talk to voters. And why that is important is that we know that talking to volunteers directly through phone calls and other voter contact uh, measures, but talking to them late as it gets closer to the election is really the most effective way to kind of have an impact with voters. Wonderful. And I'm reading that this actually is what makes the difference, yes. right? Just making these phone calls, writing these letters in the last isn't, am I reading that right? Study after study is showing that that makes a difference. Yes, absolutely. You know, these are really important conversations that you will be having with voters. And it's really important to make sure that they have this information in a time where they can actually take action, right? So yes, talking to a voter and encouraging them to vote six months ago is great, but it's not as impactful. You want to make sure that the last conversation they hear is, you know, from us, you know, encouraging them to go out and vote, but also making sure they know where their polling location is and making sure that they know, you know, that early voting has started in some states. So it's really one of the most effective and also one of the most impactful things that you can do is make phone calls to voters. That's so great because you can do it from home. Okay. Do so it from home yeah. in your pajamas. I have, exactly, which is so important to us. Now, I have a, a couple slightly embarrassing questions. So this will be my first time actually phone banking or, right. And there's also letter writing for those yeah. of us who have. So everyone who's watching should know that Nisha has two different opportunities for us that you will find at this website. We can phone bank or text, text bank. Right? Yes. Yes. Or write letters. You can write letters directly to voters. The last day to mail your letters is October 17th. So if you're uh, interested in letter writing, get those pens and papers ready. Okay, and phone banking and text banking, we can do all the way yes. up. And you have amazing instructions that even I was able to figure out on your website. For those of us who, you know, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here, but who have a little anxiety around making any sort of phone calls, <laughs> much less voting phone calls, tell me how these, goes, are, these go. Are people gonna yell at us? Are we gonna be calling people who are super different than we are? politically, how do these usually go down? And is there a script or do we have to just like make up things? So we don't let you wing it. Um, we make sure to provide a script. Um, so because these phone banks that we'll be directing um, volunteers to are phone banks directly plugged into campaigns and candidates. So different phone banks, the script may be slightly different based on the state that you're calling into, the candidate whose phone bank you will be using. But all of them will provide you a script. So this way, when your nerves get to you, you have something to follow. You don't have to worry about making it up. But yes, it can be nerve wracking. So I will encourage you to practice. Practice with a friend, practice you know, with a loved one, just to kind of get your nerves out, but also, don't be nervous. The worst thing that can happen is maybe someone hangs up, maybe they say they're not interested, and you you know, that's okay. You make that note um, and you move on to the next call. And the thing that's really awesome about these phone banks is we use a system called dialers. So these will automatically dial voters for you and only connect you when they pick up. So you don't have to worry about possibly getting a voicemail and what do you say. So it'll only connect you when someone actually answers the phone. And this allows us to talk to more voters and get connected to more voters more quickly. Mm. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna promise you that I, I think it's just time that if we want something different, we're gonna have to get out of our comfort zone. Yes. Right, Misha? Yes. We're gonna have to just use our voices, use the phone, say the thing. So I'm, and, and also we can do hard things. So we can do this. Yes. So, Absolutely. Um, Misha, thank you. Thank you so much.